Hey guys, it's Drea. Today I have a TJ Maxx slash Winners, because it's called Winners here in Canada, um, try-on haul for you guys. So this is all brand new stuff. I've been kind of bopping in and out of winner Winners over the last two weeks, trying to just gather stuff for this, because you know, they're a little bit hit and miss with all things, but you know, sometimes they have tons of great makeup and then sometimes it's just like meh meh. So I keep going back and I have accumulated some stuff and I figured let's just try it out because some of these are brands that you see over and over in TJ Maxx and Winners and then some of them are just kind of like one-offs, but none of them are like Sephora brands or anything like that. This is just kind of like the brands where you look at it and go, hmm, I never heard of that before. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me start out by putting on some lip balm because my lips have been very dry lately. This is from the brand called Kind Nature. Um, this is a moisturizing coconut oil lip balm. I have a body lotion from this brand and I really like it. So this has castor seed oil, beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, and aroma. It says 97% natural. It does taste a lot like coconutty. Um, it's just clear, kind of very glossy lip balm, but it feels nice. I picked up this primer. They didn't have a ton of like face products there, so I'm trying my best to find at least something. This is from B. Caymans. It's the corrective primer. It says it's going to reduce the appearance of pores over time, and it does say it controls oil production, um, but yet it says hydrating for all skin types, so I don't know about that. Anyway, it comes in a pump. This was $19.99. The lip balm was... Um, $4.99 by the way. So the first ingredient in this is dimethicone and yeah it's like clear kind of silicone-y. Oh it's very thick feeling. I have on moisturizer and sunscreen already. I don't know but in my experience these kind of really silicone-y primers don't really do a lot to control oil production. I'm really excited about this next thing because I got one of the fake Artiste brushes. So this is from a brand called My Eye Beauty. Or maybe it's just eye beauty. It says my eye beauty tool. They call it the mermaid face brush. So this was $16.99, which is a bit pricey, but I know for these types of brushes, they are a little bit up there. It's got a magnetic cardboard box to keep it in. I was super impressed when I touched this in the store. It's very, very velvety soft. And I also thought it was a really good size for foundation. Um, it's pretty large. Like if I take just a regular Sephora foundation brush, Look at the size difference, <laughs> like you're gonna have to be careful I think with something like this but I have never tried one of these fake Artiste brushes ever before and so I thought I would give it a try with you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start by, I guess, going downward strokes. Any makeup that I'm using will be listed in the description bar below even if it's not something from TJ Maxx. I'm using the Lancome Tint Eye Dual Foundation today. as easily as I thought it was going to. Like it really feels like it's dragging across my skin. I'm trying to do it a little bit lighter, but then when I do it lighter, it doesn't really move as easily. This foundation is pretty full coverage, and I mean, I've used this so many times, um, but on my skin right now, it is looking very light coverage. Like I feel like this really did not give me the coverage that this normally does. So I'm just gonna go over it again where I want some coverage, see if I can get this to work a little better. I don't know you guys, I don't know if it's just because it's not my cup of tea or it's just not a good brush, but it's, it feels very hard. Um, I did build up the coverage a little bit, but like I would much rather just go with my beauty blender over a tool like this. It just, this gives such a better finish in the first go round than this has. And this doesn't feel as nice as like, it felt on my hand, going over my face. It doesn't feel so nice, it actually feels pretty hard. This is not from Winners, but I was shopping at Walmart and I found the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer and I was so excited. So I picked up the shade Creamy Natural. I just wanted to include it in this video. Oh, it's got that um, kind of like the Urban Decay Naked. It's the flat doe foot, conce uh, doe foot concealer. 
It's the flat dough foot applicator, the kind of paddle one. Okay, this is like very creamy. I don't know if this is a bit yellow for me, but let's see. really really watery consistency um, which maybe that's because it's supposed to be a glowy concealer don't feel like it has a lot of coverage like look at my under eyes you can still see the dark circles the darkness coming through um, this shade is like not really a brightener this is pretty much my skin tone which in the bottle I don't know it looks like it should be lighter but it, it doesn't end up being um, it feels nice but yeah, it doesn't cover all that well. I'll let you guys know in a follow-up like hits and misses video what I feel about this after testing it a few more times. I'm gonna leave my RCMA powder on baking while I do my eyeshadow because I just don't know if these are gonna have any fallout. The first palette I picked up is from a brand I've never heard of before called Miss Cop. Just Miss Cop. It's, this one is the Smoky palette. They had a couple different kinds, but these colors just called to me because I see some purples in here. So here's what the packaging looks like. This was $7.99. Yeah, this one was $7.99. By the way, the concealer um, at Walmart was $12.50, I think. So here's what this palette looks like. I don't know, this kind of looks a little bit cheapy, <laughs> like $7.99. I don't know, it kind of looks like something you might get off like a Shop Miss A website. Um, I also picked up a brush. This was $2.99, it's from Eco Tools. And this brush I thought would be good because it's a very, very large kind of, I guess it would be a shader brush, but if you turn it on its side, it's the kind of thing where I feel like it would fit really nicely in the crease to blend something out. You know, sometimes those multi-purpose eyeshadow brushes are really cool. And then I got this palette, which I showed you guys on Snapchat, and so many of you snapped me back freaking out because it's so amazing. Um, this is from a brand called Clara Cosmetics, and I've never heard of this before. It says on here, Australian owned and designed, and this is the Desert Rose Palette. Now the packaging of it is just very simple black cardboard, but you're gonna die. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I uh, swatched a couple colors on Snap, and they're just so pigmented and like buttery and amazing. And I wanted to mention, it really reminded me of the um, Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, like the colors. Obviously there's more colors in the Colored Rain one, but like look at the similarities. I know this is hard to show because it's so bright, but like the deep oranges and golds and plummy colors and cranberry colors. Jeez man, like this was $14.99. I wanted to kind of mix these together even though this is a little bit more cool tone and that's a little bit more warm tone, but I want to try both of them with you guys. I'm going to start out with this kind of camel color in my transition. Oh my gosh, do you see that instant, instant pigmentation? That's amazing. I don't know if I have any Australian viewers, but if you are, please chime in. And let me know is this like a popular brand in Australia because I had never heard of it but I'm very impressed already there is um some kick up like when I put my brush in a little bit of powderness kind of comes up but that never bothers me with any eyeshadow I just tap my brush that's if I if you ever see me doing that that's why I do that yeah so that's a really beautiful transition shade I want to go into this kind of deep brown shade in this palette and kind of put that in the outer V. I'm going to take a little bit of this shimmery cranberry color and I'm just going to put that kind of in the middle. Oh my god! You guys look at how amazingly smooth and pigmented that goes on immediately. I've got some really high-end eyeshadows that don't do that. I'm just going to take this color right here. It's kind of like a light taupe, like a beigey taupe. 
same brush, and then put that on the inner third. Sorry guys, I realized I should have had you zoomed in a little bit further that whole time, but you can kind of see like the pigmentation on the cranberry color is gorgeous. Um, I'm liking the brown, but this satiny shade in here did not go on kind of as bright as I wanted it to be. It looks very muted. It's gonna take a little bit more of that cranberry and just kind of bring it in a little bit further. So I don't really like how light it looks. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of this kind of mauve shade and just blend into the crease a little bit of that. Bought this brush and totally forgot to even try it for you guys. So I'm just kind of Trying to see how well it blends out everything on top. I'm actually going to take some of this brighter white here and put that in the inner corner. Yeah, that's kind of more like what I was going for. Kind of like almost like an inner corner highlight, but just much more. Some of you know that I've been getting into Spotify and I've been listening to a ton of 90s stations. And I was just listening to some Mba by Hanson. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to put a little bit of the purple in this Miss Cop palette underneath my lash line. It's this one right here because, you know, sometimes I go for cranberries a lot on top, but they always end up looking super, super warm. And I thought it might be something a little bit different to put some purple. And this one actually is really, really nice. Can you see how nicely that's showing up? Okay, for brows, I was able to find this. This is from the brand Model Co, which I have heard of before, but it's not really sold in any stores that I know of. And this is Haley Baldwin for Model Co. Um, this is the Perfect Brows Pencil and Clear Gel Duo. I didn't even open it up. You know, thinking about it, I didn't even open it up to see the shade. What was I thinking? <laughs> Oh my god, let's hope that this shade is something that'll work for me. Yeah, it might, it might. Okay, this reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Definer. It's one of the triangle shaped um, kind of brow things. Why did I not think that I should check the shade of a brow color? That's kind of dumb, don't you think? And then on this side, it looks like, yeah, just a little spooly. and return the Anastasia Brow Definer when it first came out because I just feel like the triangle is so unwieldy. I can never control it the way I want to. It's too big um, and I can't really figure out how to use it. Now, some people love it. So this is not too creamy. It's not too stiff. It's, this is actually a really awesome consistency, this product but the shape of it is just like giving me trouble, but that's my own thing. So I would say if you're good with this kind of shape, this is actually a really great alternative to something like the Anastasia Brow Definer, because look how nicely it looks. The, uh, the shape is actually awesome. It was only $4.99. So let's do this one. We'll see if my brows will be sisters today, or twins, or maybe even just like third cousins. Yeah, that is the thing I hate about these kind of products is now that I've kind of used the tip on this side to create those brush strokes in the front, on this side I'm just getting this blocky kind of huge now brow pencil and it's not able to give me what I want. It's not the same kind of preciseness. So that really sucks. But we will use the brow gel and see how that works. I like the little brush on it. It's kind of like the, um, the Benefit Gimme Brow Brush, a little tiny brush. I always appreciate that. 
So let me know what you think about these brows. I think they turned out kind of really mismatched. I'm not loving them, you guys. I'm really not loving them. I feel like this one's huge, this one's smaller, and this one, I don't know. It's not, it's not so good today for my brows. Okay, on to face. So I bought this. This is a contour face kit from the brand Max Studio. Now, this is a brand I see in winners all the time, and I have never tried anything from them before. To be honest with you, I've always felt like it kind of looked really cheap. Um, now, this is a face palette for $4.99, <laughs> so it is kind of cheap, right? But like, I don't know, I'm very, um, Skeptical, let's just say. Okay, so it comes with this brush, which I can tell you right now I'm not gonna use. This is super hard and scratchy and doesn't look like it would blend for anything. But this could be promising. So it's got a highlight, two contour shades, a bronzer and a blush. Now the bronzer and blush look like they have glitter in them. Um, yeah, it's definitely glitter. And they're very small pan sizes, so I feel like the blush and bronze might be a little bit tough to actually get to use, you know, on your face properly. But let's just start with the contour. I can get a little bit more precise with this. So this to me looks really, really warm. This might actually be a, a better bronzer because it's matte. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but I'm gonna contour it with this shade right here. Okay. So it is pretty pigmented. Yeah, I think that's not bad. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera. It actually looks kind of harsh in my viewfinder, but it looks pretty well blended in real life. Oh, I'm scared, you guys. I'm really scared of this one. That is red. That's why I put it under my hair first. <laughs> okay, this is a really, really, really red tone bronzer. Okay, honestly, I don't hate this bronzer, um, but I am every single time I'm using it, wiping it on the back of my hand because it is so pigmented that I feel like it's, it's gonna be so super easy to go overboard. And I'm just gonna switch up my brush and because I feel like I have too much to on that brush. You guys, it's definitely not the most blendable thing in the world. The end result is not bad. It does kick up a ton of uh, product and it's very, very pigmented. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But if you are looking for a really good budget, I mean, $4.99 for all these products, not, not anything to sneeze at. So same thing, I'm gonna try to get some blush on my brush, but I have to kind of squeeze it to the product. This isn't really a summer shade of blush. It's very kind of a deep mauve, but you know, very similar to the bronzer, very pigmented. I tapped it off on my hand first and it is really like very intense right off the bat. So just a lot of blending required. Let's see what this highlighter looks like. It looks like a very kind of creamy color. I don't know, it's very, it looks like almost a kind of um, matte highlight you would want to enhance under your eyes, except it's got glitter in it. So you're not gonna do that. But look, look, it's not really doing much on my cheek. Okay, you guys, that is the final look. I think it turned out really well. There's a few hits and misses. Let's go through them. So first of all, let's start the last thing, this lipstick. Um, this is like completely not sticking to my lips and uh, I let it dry and then it kind of was like cracking apart and coming apart. But I'm not gonna say that is the fault of this yet because remember I put on this lip balm which has coconut oil in it and coconut oil, like if I put this on top right now, it would completely break it all down. So I'm wondering if that's why the lipstick is not sticking properly. It could be why, so I'm gonna give it a few more chances um, going forward and I'll update you, like, like I said, in my hits and misses. Um, this primer, I'm definitely going to have to try it more to know if it works well. My makeup is looking really nice on top of it. It looks like it's filled in pores and everything. This 
I don't know if they're gonna let me return it, but I'm sure gonna try because I did not like this at all. I did not enjoy this. I didn't like the way it applied my foundation. I felt like it took foundation away instead of adding it on. This I'm definitely gonna have to experiment with, with different powders, etc., because um, it's very watery. I'm not sure I love the way it went on, and it is starting to crease a little bit under this eye. I can see it already, and it's not completely covering my dark circles. So, again, we'll update you. So the eyeshadow, <laughs> I don't know about this one. Um, I feel like it went on okay. I really like the purple, the way that looks underneath my lash line. But this is definitely more of a cheapy thing. I don't even know if it's worth the $7.99 that I paid for it. But this is like such a hit, a hidden gem. Don't pass it by. Pick it up if you see it. That I mean, this is so amazing. And such a budget alternative to the Queen of Hearts palette, like I mentioned. The eyebrow... I'm gonna try to make it work. I wonder if there's a way I can sharpen it. Uh, maybe just take like a... Um, I don't know, something like a credit card and just shave the edges every time I use it because I love the color of it. And it went on really nice, like the consistency is awesome. But it's just the format of having that triangle shape that is just, I'm no good at it, you know? The last thing, the MAC Studio Contour Face Kit. I don't even want to say this would be good for a beginner because I feel like there is a certain skill level you need to have to play with pigmentation, you know what I mean? To the point where you're not going overboard, where you have experience with blending things out and how to work with things that are overly pigmented. Um, so I wouldn't even say this would be good for a beginner because of that, like it's actually a little bit difficult to work with. And the pan size too, like if you get your brush, uh, if you're trying to put your brush in the bronzer and you get a bunch of that dark contour on it, that's gonna be a mess on your face. So that is a huge downside to this. I will say though for five bucks, I would use the contour again. The contour actually I think looks really nice. The blush, once I've blended it out, looks pretty. Like I don't know how these things are gonna last throughout the day, obviously, but um, I'm not going to say this is a dud. It has pros and cons though for sure. And for five bucks, it was worth trying. So I had a ton of fun with this video. I hope you really liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. That really helps me out a lot. If you're new here, subscribe. I'd love to have you around for all of my future videos. I think my giveaway is still going on. If you haven't entered that, go enter it now. It's going until July the 1st, so link will be down in the description box. And like I said, if you are interested in any of these products, I'll try to find links for the stuff I purchased, but it's kind of tough sometimes with stuff from Winners and TJ Maxx to find corresponding brands online, um, which is kind of the fun about shopping there because you never know what you're gonna find, right? But any of the other products I used on my face are always down in the description bar too. So that is it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I had so much fun, I hope you did too. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.